Okay, we're here. We're, there is a bunch of Italians here right now, <laughs> the Italian community. And um. Emanuele and Matteo, who's going to present us his uh, application. Matteo, uh, yesterday I noticed while I was like checking their Twitter accounts that Matteo's Twitter account is Matteo, which is one of the most common names in Italy. So that means that you are like really between the very first ones to, to get hooked to. Uh, yeah, I did the account. Uh, Yes, three years ago, something like that. Okay. Yeah, and every two weeks I get uh, in my mail, uh, did you forget your password? Here it is. No, I didn't forget it. But <laughs> all the um, people that, uh, whose name is Matteo and do uh, I forgot password, uh, I get always these okay. emails. That's a little, a little bit annoying. But <laughs> so what's your application, Matteo? So uh, my you application, the first I have on, uh, on the App Store is a little application because Called time to distance. Uh, it was something I yeah. found <laughs> useful for me <laughs> <laughs> because I'm. Yeah. Uh, if I go for oh a walk, right. or if I go for uh, um, hiking or tracking or riding the bike or um, by train. So do you uh, do you like to hike and bike? Yeah, yeah, your yeah, hobby? yeah, yeah. Yes, very much. Uh, so I live among the mountains, and, <laughs> and then uh, I like it very much. So um, I uh, wanted to. Uh, uh, so how I calculate uh, the uh, my road, my um, so the distance I was uh, going to um, to cover, and then uh, I did this little app. Uh, so basically, you can um, draw uh, quite uh, easily uh, your path here on on the map. Uh, so. Uh so that you decide. I mean, you have a starting point, and you decide yeah, where to go. Yeah, exactly. And for example, do something like that. I want to go here and here, and maybe uh, if there's something here, I could uh, just okay, something like that. And then it calculates the um, uh, total distance of the total uh, length of the path, and uh, I can estimate uh, the time I um, I will be. Um, um and just on foot or? Uh, well, I can choose the, uh, the uh, speed. Yeah, the speed. I can choose between eastern speed and average speed. It's funny because I did it because I wanted to. Uh, I use it for walking and for. Um, so, so you I did it for yourself. Basically. Yes, but there's a guy in, uh, in there's a, um, a man in uh, Sweden. He drives on a helicopter. And he, he used to estimate the, the travel time and the distance. By helicopter? Can, yeah, with a helicopter. Ah, so cool. if you have an helicopter, it's, it's useful. It's still <laughs> useful. <laughs> Good. Okay. And what else? What, what's your favorite application? Is that? Yeah, my favorite application is uh, the Last.fm client. Do uh, you know Last.fm? Yeah, Okay. But uh, yeah, you, you can probably explain it. For yeah, uh, Last.fm is um, uh, yeah, the social network for... Uh, Let's say music lovers. So, uh, I so uh, there are people that can just listen to music all the time, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And comment and yeah, and uh, the more you listen, the more Lastfm knows your musical taste, and uh, uh, he can it can um, recommend you some records, or you have your um, uh, yeah recommended. You have your library with your with the um, tracks you listen you listened, and uh, you have uh, friends. Uh, which are, um, yes, uh, so here the, the social part, you have friends and you can see what they are listening. So if I choose my um, library and he's uh, getting... Uh, so do you listen to music on your iPhone actually? Yeah, yeah. You're one of these guys walking <laughs> with the music. <laughs> Yeah, uh, for example, if you are uh, traveling, you're on a train, or uh, yeah, at home, it is sometimes useful um, just to uh, uh, connect your iPhone to the yeah, to the speakers. Yeah, to the speakers. Yeah.